this real quick. I was in the uh, year of uh, around 1990 in the 90s when I was privileged to receive my license to preach the gospel ministry by my own father, uh, Pastor Johnson Sr. And I'm blessed today to present one of my sons and uh, his license to preach. Amen. That's right. Amen. This young man is well known throughout our city. Yeah. He has leadership community wide. That's right. I've never seen such a young person in their early 20s that can bring the community together. Yep. Yeah. To such large numbers. Yeah. But expose Rockford to some of the Great. legendary That's right. as well as national gospel uh -huh. artists and yeah. singers. Yeah. That's that right. Have Lunches and banquets. Yeah. Just bring our community together to make to make such an impact upon our community. Yeah. But not only that, but he's a great leader within our own congregation. That's right. He's faithful. He's committed. Yeah. There's not a time that he's not prepared to preach or have a word. I remember there were times when I woke up late because I was making my own personal transitions. Uh huh. About ten minutes before I could be able to preach. I had to call Justin and he was ready to preach. All right. Yeah. So That's he right. been preaching now for quite a while, for some years now. But this is the morning, this Easter Sunday, that I wanted to present to him his license to preach. All right. So this is what it says. Certificate of license. Mm -hmm. This is to certify that Justin Dewan Francis, mm -hmm. who has given evidence that God has called him into the gospel ministry, yeah. was licensed to preach the gospel as he may have opportunity yeah. and to exercise his gifts in the work of the ministry yeah. by freedom of church without walls yes, Lord. at 1601 Parkview Avenue, Rockford, Illinois yeah. on the 5th day of April 2015. All right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Again, verse 32 says, Were not our hearts burned within us? 
Yeah. While he talked with us on the road. Yeah. And opened to us the scriptures. Yes, Lord. I'm going to deal with this subject, which is entitled The Road to Emmaus. Yeah. The Road to Emmaus. You may be seated in the presence of our Lord. All right. My thesis for this Salonic presentation is simply this. God has a way. Mm -hmm. Of working with us yeah. and through us yeah. through some strange situations. Uh huh. God has a way yes, Lord. of working in us mm -hmm. and through us yeah. during some strange situations. Uh huh. I say that because the Bible records some amazing events. Yeah. Some amazing situations. Yes, Lord. That involves Jesus that have transpired in human history. All right. And these amazing situations and these amazing, amazing events that God has involved Jesus in are some of the situations and events I wish I could have experienced personally. All right. I mean to tell you, I wish I could have experienced. John chapter 2, verses 11, 1 through verses 11. When Jesus performs his first miracle, uh -huh. is when he turns water into wine. All right. But the Bible tells us in that narrative that there was a great feast that was going on uh -huh. at a wedding. Okay. But they ran into no problem. Mm -hmm. The Bible declares they had ran out of wine. All right. And I discovered in life that there are times when you can be on your journey. Uh huh. You can be in pursuit of God. You can be navigating through life. All right. But there are times when you would just run out. All right. There'll be times in life when you become just fed up. Yeah. You become twat, quat. You become tired. You feel like you just need to quit. Uh huh. Throw in the white towel of surrender. Yeah. And the Bible says that when they ran out of wine. Uh -huh. Before they quit, before they gave up, before they canceled the wedding, mm -hmm. the first thing that Mary does is call on Jesus. All right. And that's a word for somebody in this place today. Come on now. Because there may be someone in this house who may be tired. Yeah. There may be someone in this house who may be fed up. Yes, Lord. There may be someone in this house who feel like quitting and throwing in the white towel of surrender. That's right. But my encouragement for you today is before you quit, before uh -huh. you walk away, before you give up and give out, you need to take it to Jesus. Yeah. The Bible says that Mary calls on Jesus. Uh huh. And then Jesus instruct his boys to grab the water pots. And they yeah. fill up the pots with water. Uh huh. And as they begin to fill up one pot from another, yeah. miraculously the water begin to turn uh -huh. into wine. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could have experienced that. Yeah. I wish I could have seen the governor's face. Mercy Lord. When they gave him a glass of that wine. Yeah. And the Bible says he took a sip. Yeah. And he said they saved the best for last. Yeah. And that's the word of somebody else. Yeah. Because some of us had to watch other people be blessed. Come on. We had to watch other people get the job. Yeah. To watch the other people get the car. Yeah. We had to be the bridesmaid and the best men in somebody else's way. Yeah. We had to see God move in the lives of other people. And it seemed like God wasn't moving in our lives. Yeah. But I've come to encourage you today. If you just hold on. Yeah. If you just be patient. Yeah. If you just wait a little while longer. Yeah. You will discover that God always saved the best. Well, yeah. Would you give me a favor and look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. My, name my name is best. It may be your turn now, but my turn is right around the corner. Right. Because whenever God is blessing my neighbor, all that means is, is that God is in the neighborhood. Yeah. And I believe I have some witnesses in here that will testify I ain't hate no nobody. Right. I ain't jealous of nobody. Right. I'm your biggest cheerleader. Yeah. I shout when God moves in your life. Yeah. Because I
That's oh, right. Oh, I wish I could have experience. Yeah. When there was a little boy. Yeah. That had two fishes mm -hmm. and five loaves of bread. Look out now. But yet there's five thousand people. Mercy Lord. That are hungry. Uh huh. In a hot desert. Yeah. Don't have enough food to feed the people. Uh huh. Five thousand people plus. Yeah. Women and children. Uh huh. But there's only one little boy. Uh huh. With two fishes and five loaves of bread. Yeah. I wish I could have experienced this uh -huh. little boy. Yeah. Taking the little that he yeah. had. Yeah. And put the little in the big hands of Jesus. Yeah. And I wish I could watch Jesus yeah. take his big hands. Uh huh. And hold up that little gift. Yeah. To his great big old father. Yeah. And pray and thank God. That's right, yeah. And watch God take the love yeah. and make it into much. Yeah. So Come on. I wish I could have experienced yeah. Jesus take the little gift yeah. from the little boy yeah. and put it in God's big hands. Yeah. And watch God take two little fishes yeah. and five loaves of bread Come on, and God. feed 5,000 ah. plus people. Yeah. Yeah. And you can discover in studying Luke chapter 24, 
that after the resurrection mm -hmm. vindicated and validated Jesus' claim yeah. about himself, uh -huh. that these two unpopular disciples, uh -huh. Cleopas and the Lamed's disciples, yeah. as they walk and talk with Jesus, yeah. they pause for the cause and say, would not our hearts burn right. within us yeah. while he talked with us yeah. on the road? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that greatly moved 
their hearts. Yeah. To burn within them. What, what did Jesus say to them to allow the tears to well up in their eyes and yeah. skin down their cheeks? Uh -huh. What did Jesus say to them that, that allowed them to bask in the presence of right. God? Yeah. To appreciate God. To be grateful yeah. over the little that they had. Yeah. Want to keep on going when they felt like they had ran out. Yeah. They felt like they were tired and getting ready to quit. What did Jesus say to them? Can I tell you what he said? Come on! Yeah. The scriptures. Yeah, that's right. So that. That's right. What Jesus literally did was he took the Bible uh -huh. and he opened up to them the scriptures. The scripture. Yeah. Here it is. Jesus opened and explained yeah. to them the scriptures. Yeah. Well, Master Jay, what is the scriptures? Yeah. The scriptures is the self revelation yeah. of God. Yeah. Right. Here it right. is. The scriptures is a testimony. Yeah. About God to Him own self. Yeah. See, when you open up the scriptures, you don't have to worry about your testimony. That's right. Because That's your right. testimony is temporary. Yeah. And when we talk about how God woke us up this morning, yeah. Truth of the matter is, you ain't gonna always wake, wake up. That's right. One day you gonna go to sleep. Yeah. That's and right. Get back up. Yeah. We talk about how God put food on the table. That's all right. The reality is, there will come a time. Yeah. Where there be no more food on the table. Yeah. We talk about how God paid our bills. Yeah. One of these old days, we're going to go to heaven. Yeah. But come there, it has no control. Come on. Ah, ah. That God is not in charge of heaven. Yeah. So there be no more bills paid. Come on, God. And I'm a testimony about him. It's only temporary. Yeah. But when you read the scriptures, uh -huh. you read a permanent temporary, a permanent testimony about God and yep. his own sin. Yeah. See, when we open up our mouths in worship, we uh -huh. tell God who we yeah, that's when right. we open up the scripture, God tells us who he is. Yeah. It is God's self-revelation of himself. Yeah. And that's why you got to be careful when you're standing on the line and let somebody knock you up on the head with some right. oil. All right. And make you fall on the floor. Look out now. Because they're only giving you a perception yeah. of who they think God is. Come on is. now. That's why you got to be careful when yeah. somebody ease on to the side and you'll say, well, God told me to tell you. All right. Because God is so big. Yeah, that's but right. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4 will remind you that greater is he that is within you. me 
That's right. He that's in the word. That's right. When you study the Bible, when you open up the scriptures, Romans chapter 8, verse 31 will also tell you if God be for us. If God be for us, uh -huh. I don't care how many people that's right. are against you. That's right. I don't care how many people yeah. are trying to scandalize your name. Yeah. I don't care how many people who are planning and plotting your life. Yeah. But if God be for us, yeah. then who can be against you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Come on. Give it up online. Yeah. The scripture will tell you that I don't care how bad it gets. Yeah. This life is worth living. Yeah. The scripture will tell you if nobody else will let you into that group and nobody else will invite you to their clique, yeah. that's all right because you belong to God. Yeah. That's something about the scripture. You have the church every Sunday and you open up the Bible and you get into that scripture. Yeah. And you follow along with what the preacher said. Yeah. That scripture will greatly of your heart yeah. and remind you what you can do, who you can become, yeah. and how you can be victorious yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Because the scriptures is full of good news. news. Yeah. You look at your neighbor real quickly and say, neighbor, neighbor, I need the scripture. I need the scripture. Well, last thing I'm done. Yeah. There are three main benefits mm -hmm. to the scriptures. Yeah. Number one, the scripture would develop yeah. I got your neighbor one more time. I said, neighbor, right. neighbor, I need my faith to develop. I need my faith to develop. The Bible declares in our Luke chapter 24 mm -hmm. that these men were shaking in the faith. Yeah. Because when they found out that the women had went to the sepulchre, mm -hmm. they found out that Jesus wasn't there. Uh huh. But they forgot the scripture. They forgot the word. Yeah. They forgot what Jesus said. said. Yeah. And so they were shaking in their faith. Mm -hmm. So Jesus manifests himself in front of them. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says he opens up the scripture. Yeah. Because he needed to develop their faith. Yeah. yeah. And remind them of what he said. Yeah. Because God always do what he says. Y'all listen he's to him. What he's going to do. Yeah. I don't care what it looks like, how That's it right. looks, how right. much money you lose. That's right. God will always do what he says. He's going to do. Yeah. So when you go through problems in life, All right. is the problem is not the problem. Uh -huh. The problem is the lack of faith. Hey. Yeah. That's because right. Because you have faith, then the problem is not a problem. Yeah. You know that the problem is literally going to become a testimony. Oh, yeah. Come on. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says this faith comes by hearing, hearing and the hearing by what? The, the word, word of God. God. The scriptures literally develop our faith. But yeah. The two, the scriptures build our hope. Yeah. yeah. See, you all, when they found out that Jesus wasn't at the support, uh -huh. they yeah. lost their hope. hope. Yeah. Yes. Because they were looking for him to redeem Israel. That's right. The text yeah. says they had hope that he was going to redeem See. Israel. Yeah. They lost their hope as though Jesus wasn't going to do what he said he was going to uh -huh. do. Uh-huh. And here, here is you all, the enemy will attack you in ways and in situations in your life yeah. to make you lose your hope. I'm talking about That's right. don't quit beyond giving up. That's right. Whatever you do, don't lose your hope. Keep hoping for a better day. That's right. That's Keep right. hoping for a brighter day. Yeah. Keep hoping that things will get better. Yeah. I'm not talking about hope in a house, car, man, a woman, a All nation, right. a marriage, a new job, Come on. A college degree. I'm not talking about that kind Come of hope. Now. That's nonsense. That's I'm talking right. about hope in Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. My hope is built on nothing yeah. else. In Jesus' blood. And Psalms 147, verse 11 says this The Lord delights in those who fear him, uh -huh. who put their hope in his unfailing love. That's right. Here it is the scriptures will develop your faith. Yes. Yeah. Secondly, will build your hope. Uh huh. But then, thirdly, I like this one it will condition your heart. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, it will condition your heart. Condition your heart. Cleopas, this name is disciple. And the other 11 disciples, yeah. the close disciples, are still struggling, mm -hmm. although Jesus is there. Yeah. And while they're struggling, mm -hmm. Jesus opens up the scriptures. Yeah. And to explain to them the scriptures, uh -huh. what's going on in their lives. Uh -huh. And at the same time, the scriptures begin to condition their hearts. Heart. Yeah. Because the Bible says that Jesus took bread and he broke it. Uh -huh. And he gave it to them. Yeah. Now when you think about the word bread, the bread, word bread literally means the word. That's right. That's why Jesus says that I'm the word. Uh huh. He also says that I am the bread of life. Right. Yeah. Now, as I told you earlier, that the scriptures is God's self revelation of Himself. All right. So if the word and the bread are synonymous, that they are one and the same. Uh huh. When He broke the bread, He broke a piece of Himself. That's right. Which is the word. That's right. And He gave Himself to His disciples. Yeah. That's and right. He gave it to them. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're now able to see yeah. because they now have the word. Yeah. How many of us are walking around blind All right. and cannot see? Yeah. How many of us are walking around with scales on our eyes? Yeah. We're blind in the 
relationship. Yeah. We're blind on the job. Yeah. Come to church every Sunday and still blind. Yeah. We're blind as it relates to our finances yeah. and our health. Yeah. And that's why we need God to break a piece of himself. Yeah. Which is the word and give it to us every nice. Sunday. So the scales can fall over our eyes. Yeah. So that we can no longer be blind. But our eyes will become open and we'll be able to see. Yeah.
That's right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Heaven. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. About what he did. Yeah. yeah. And explain to you the way that he has shown all of us together. Yeah. That's right. It's time to get people back in church. Yeah. Amen. It's time to reprioritize church in our lives. Yeah. It's time for us to take God serious. Yes, Lord. We don't have to be in church all day. That's right. We just need to come and get the words. Word. That's right. The scriptures. Sure. Yep. We just need the Bible. Yeah. And our lives will be changed from the better. Amen. And I hope they will be built on nothing less. less. That's right. It's Christ. That's right. And righteousness. That's right. Yes. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let me get tired of that folks. Yes. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Many of us are here on this Easter Sunday. Yes, Lord. We don't pray our honest prayer because the reality is many of us have been turned off by the church. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because church folk can be faith phony and plastic. Yes, Lord. That's right. Yes. And we made the mistake of getting that way because we've been listening to each other. That's right. And not studying the scriptures. That's right. We literally thought that the morning bitch was the way. Mercy, Lord. We thought that singing the hymns was going to get us into heaven. All right, now. We thought that we would dress us down to our ankles. Mm-hmm. And we put on a three piece suit. Uh-huh. Yeah. That made us better than everybody else. All right. Yes. And so we were foolish enough to criticize and critique other people. That's right. Because they did not want to experience God in the way that we experience All God. right. So we laughed when people ran down the aisle. Yes, Lord. But we forgot about that we shake from side to side. That's right. And we laughed when people opened up their mouths and began to shout and scream like they were in a ball game. Mercy, Lord. But we forgot we used to lift up our hands. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Yeah. There is no difference between uh, how we praise each other. Yeah. We do it in a different way. That's right. Amen. So while I pray that you would first get the church right. Yes, Lord. The leaders of the church right. Yeah. Amen. Get our hearts right. Yes, Lord. Amen. I pray that you would touch us. Yeah. Make us right. Yes, Lord. Let us not get caught up on tradition and all of this stuff that we learned down through the years that don't mean anything to you. Yeah. But then secondly, those who are struggling with coming to church. Yes, Lord. Because of what they hear or how they've been turned off by the church. Yeah. Now preachers who didn't preach the gospel but preach themselves. All right. Preachers who didn't lift up Jesus but lifted up themselves. Mercy, yeah. Lord. I pray, Father, that you will redirect us. Yeah. Get us back in church. Yeah. So when we come to church, we won't come to church looking for the preacher to preach. Uh-huh. All we right. will come to church looking for the All right. ministry to move us. All right. And we will come to church oh, expecting Lord. to hear a word from the Lord. Oh. The scriptures yeah. explain. We don't yes, care Lord. if the preacher ever or who. We just want to be taught what the yeah. scripture says. Yeah. We want to know what God says yeah. and what he meant when he said. Yeah. I pray now, Father, that you will just bring us back to our sense of responsibility. Yes, Lord. And our sense of spiritual obligation not only to ourselves, but yeah. to you. Yes, we Lord. need to grow spiritual. Right now, yeah. Our world is becoming more sickened. Yes, Lord. Because we're not growing spiritual. That's right. right. Yeah. We're now desensitized from everything that is about you. Yes, Lord. Everything that goes in this day and time. All right. And the reason why we're sympathizing with the devil because we're using it as an excuse for what we really want to do. That's right. But Father, help us to understand that we need to come and hear the scripture. Please, the Lord. And sometimes we're going to feel good when we hear the scripture. Yeah. And sometimes we're going to feel convicted. That's right. Let us be mature when we come to church. And we're supposed to come to church and be offended. Yeah. That's Tom's right. We're supposed to be stepped on sometimes. Yeah. Because how are we going to get better if we That's never right. become offended? That's right. How are we going to become better if we never are convicted? Yeah. yeah. So grow us up. Yes, Lord. And remind us that the Bible is not about popular opinion. That's right. The Bible is not about being politically correct. That's right. But it's about. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. And him crucified Five. and risen from the, from the grave. Yeah. Everything that Jesus did was against politicians. That's right. Against tradition in the church. That's right. Against popular opinion. That's right. And so help us not to, not even to be like our president. 
Yes, Lord. We want to be like Jesus and Christ. Yeah. Help us work on us. Strengthen us. Yes, Lord. So that we will become better. In yes. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands and get out of here. Amen. 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 That means you're not 100% sure if you die right now that you're going to heaven. Nobody's looking for me. Just look up your hand. Yes. If you're not 100% sure that if you die right now that you're going to spend eternity with Jesus that you're going to heaven, just look up your hand. You're not 100% sure. See the hands. See the hands. Here it is. In order to be 100% sure that you die right now, you're going to heaven, it's going to be saved. Yes, Lord. And here's the good news. Salvation don't cost you nothing. That's right. It is a free gift from God. That's right. If you desire to receive salvation, if you desire to be saved, Yes. Repeat the simple prayer after me. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. I confess with my mouth. Yes. I believe in my heart. Yes. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And that God is risen from the dead. dead. Yes. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart, Jesus. Yes. Come into my heart, Jesus. Yes, now, Lord. Here it is. If you just pray the simple prayer, you can now be 100% sure. If you die right now, you go to heaven. That's right. Pastor Jay, how do you know? How come you're so confident? Because I open up the Bible. Uh huh. And Romans chapter 10, verse 9. The scripture says, If thou shalt confess with thy that mouth, mouth that's and right. believe in thy heart, heart in the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, and that God is risen from, from the, the dead. dead. I didn't say this. The Bible says, You are uh, saved. saved. And here it is. You cannot lose your salvation. That's right. I don't care what you've done, what you do. Don't make nobody fool you. You ain't got to roll on a full void. That's right. That's right. You ain't got to speak in tongues. That's the right. The Bible says, You are saved. Yeah. That's just the first step. The second step is to get in church, to become a member of the church. Yeah. If you're in this, if you're in this place right now, you know being in church, being out of church is wrong. Mm -hmm. And you know being in church is right. All right. If you know being in church is right, here it is. Everybody needs a church home. Everybody yeah. needs a pastor to be watching over their soul. Fine. Not a perfect preacher, but a preacher who's preaching a perfect gospel. All right. Which is the scripture. Yeah. You will watch over your soul, pray for you every day. Yeah. And you see what you'll be having. Yeah. If you know you need to have a church home, you know you need to be in church. Yeah. I want to take this opportunity, whether you just got saved or you've been saved for a long time, but you have not been in church. All right. I want to invite you right now to come and join the church. Yeah. All you got to do is come down front. Yes, Lord. And just sign the papers. Yeah. Fill out the information card, and you're just a member of the church. Yeah. That's all. We don't have the hokey pokey stuff. That's right. We don't. We, we're not here to fool you. That's right. We're not trying to raise sixty-five million dollars and all that. That's Only right. Only thing we do is give it away what we have. That's right. And that's 